Hello friends, this is Akshay. Welcome to you to the new tutorial of devotional study. We'll be starting with CSS today. As I've told you in the last tutorial that we'll be learning about CSS. So let's get started. Hello friends, today we'll be starting with the CSS tutorial, right? As I've told you, so uh, we'll be, I'll give you a Re recap about what are we going to learn in a complete tutorial we'll learn about css we'll move on to css3 and uh, in between that uh, we'll be merging html as well and then later on we'll move on to javascript so first of all before i start with css and i'll give you any introduction about it i will recommend you to watch my html beginner tutorial right we'll be learning HTML that complete tutorial so because uh, in order to complete CSS in order to learn CSS we should learn basic about HTML right so I would recommend you to go for HTML and complete the course right and uh, in this tutorial let me tell you we'll discuss about what is tutorial what, what is a uh, CSS right and how it started and what is the need of CSS right so we'll give you a complete structure about it Okay, so let's start with the first topic is uh, what is CSS, right? CSS basically it's uh, it stands for cascading style sheet. It's usually used to design HTML tags, right? Uh, so best example in order to understand CSS is would be I will let you know the example first. Let's talk about more properties uh, I mean what is CSS CSS is basically widely used language on the web without CSS you won't be complete a web page uh, and I mean it's the most important language to complete a web page and to complete a, com uh, a presentation about a page right so uh, we, we will be using JavaScript as well for designing web page CSS is another uh, client-side scripting language right it's not a scripting language I would say it's a style sheet language right so it's basically um, used at the client side not at the server side you can even manipulate things on the client side if you have the code right and uh, we'll learn about how to apply CSS to an HTML right so I would give you an example here what is exactly CSS if you uh, take a, a building like suppose we are creating a structure of a building and we have a complete structure created already so in order to complete the structure right in order to give uh, a building to a, a good presentation look right we need to paint the building we need to design a window we need to complete architecture would be recommend recommended at that time right but we will never change the structure structure will always remain same what will do after completing the structure we'll have to decorate the complete building that's what we'll have to do right so that is what css is so html is our structure and the the painting colors whatever uh makes that building look better that will be our css right so basically the css will be used to style or complete the designing of a html page right okay so and next thing how can we apply CSS we have I mean I'll give you a complete tutorial about that right we will move uh, to the attributes we will learn the benefits we will uh, learn the syntaxes of uh, CSS right and later on we will learn about selectors how we'll use selectors there are like a lot of things coming up in this tutorial so first of all I would like to give you an example I mean the practical as well so that you'll be having uh, I mean a good view about CSS I mean why should we learn CSS benefits there are like a lot of benefits about uh, CSS as well that is uh, we can separate the style from the structure right we can have a a complete different CSS sheet altogether. Uh, we, we there is no need to mix our HTML code and CSS in a single file. We can create a complete separate structure or style sheet of CSS. Right? We can control style for the entire web page in one place. Right? We can complete the style right in a different sheet, or you can say 
we can complete the whole designing and the presentation of our HTML page in a complete CSS style sheet. Okay, we have will be having control over it. So the third point I would say would be uh, we can tailor style to the viewing devices, right? That is the most important point because nowadays we'll be using mobile devices, tablets, a lot of a uh, lot of different devices to view our web page, right? So in order to um, I mean make a responsive page responsive as in your website will be responsive it will become responsive according to the resolution of the device right if you'll be having a web page on a computer screen it'll be having a different resolution comparatively with a mobile device so that is responsive because if your website is working if your website is uh, working better on a web page uh, which will be viewing on a computer device right it should look better on a mobile device as well so that comes uh, so that means that we should use a responsive design in order to implement those things right so let's uh, move on and let me show you the example here for a css okay so first of all we need to i will i'm not using any kind of css today i i will just show you the example so first of all we need a structure that is our HTML page. So I'll save this document first of all. all right. I will go to a different folder or uh, yeah, I'll go to a different folder so that it'll be easier for me to make you guys understand that we'll be learning today CSS. Okay. So I'll just save this all the HTML code in this HTML page uh, in CSS folder. Sorry for for that. Okay. So HTML or I would say CSS first class. Okay. First, I would say and I'll save it as HTML only because we'll creating the structure right so first of all let's create a structure okay we'll come in the body section all right and uh, let's create uh, a normal h1 tag the heading tag right hope you guys remember about it so we will say write your first CSS okay and I'll give in give a paragraph so this is para okay got it so uh, next thing what we'll have to do we'll have to we have a structure created let me save it first okay I have saved it I'll go to the same directory okay all right so let's go back to the same directory here I'll run this code as you can see write your first CSS that is our h1 tag and that is the paragraph right so let's design or let's uh, let's put CSS on it it's, it's not looking better because it's just a structure so in order to make it look better we need to apply CSS in it right so let's check I'll go back to the code okay and I will so in order to apply CSS I will use style tag right We'll have to use style tag and it will be internal CSS we'll be using. So using the style tag. So first of all, we need to select a selector. Selector would be your tag. Okay. I will I will make you understand in a better way in the upcoming tutorials. So if you're not understanding right now, just go with the flow. I will let you know. No problem. Just uh focus here for now so i will set the, I, i'm giving h1 a color white okay color will be the font color background color would be red okay and the last property i would say padding i will under, i will make you understand what is padding is okay as i have uh, if you haven't checked that video you can check that video uh by clicking on the i button right because i've already given an introduction or something related to uh, padding in that particular tutorial and the next tag we'll be having is p paragraph tag okay so I'll just give the color blue okay I just I'll save it so we have two tags right two tags here and two CSS property for both of the tags right I'll go back to the code and I'll run the code here so as you can see the h1 will get background red okay and the white color color font font color white and the background will be red and one one more thing uh it'll be having five 
pixel of padding it will be having this text will be having five five pixel of padding okay all right so next thing was uh, paragraph and the color will be blue so let's check what color we have it's blue only nothing else we have given here right so this is the css uh, example for you and i'll give you more about css in the upcoming tutorial in the brief i mean we'll give you a brief description about it you don't have to worry about anything just go with the flow and uh, if you have liked this video uh please hit the like button share the video and subscribe the channel i will see you in the next tutorial guys bye bye and keep coding